Hi Virgo, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-April general reading, again for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm so sorry for the delay on this video. My life got flipped upside down last week and I wasn't in a good place to read, but I'm much better now, and let's just get into it. Um, right after this general reading, Virgo, we're gonna go right into your love reading. If you'd like to join us for the love reading, it's the first link in the description box below, and what we do over there in case you're new, hello and welcome, of course. We look at the other person you're dealing with in love. How do they really feel about you? What is their long-term intention for you? What do y'all go through and experience together? Think of each other, feel towards each other, what are y'all experiencing together? And of course, we look at potential outcome. Where is that relationship truly going? Again, that reading is downstairs in the description box. Um, my Instagram is also there if you'd like to follow or come say hello. I'll be using the Mythic Tarot today. All right, let's get right into it, Virgo. Thank y'all uh, for your continued support. Like, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate you, especially in these trying times. Um, I can't thank you enough. It really means a lot to me when y'all reach out or leave a nice comment or thumbs up or share. It really, really means a lot. I appreciate it. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. We've got three more shuffles. What is the best and highest message for Virgo at this time? What is the best <clears throat> and highest message for Virgo at this time? What is the best and highest message for Virgo? All right, Virgo, bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is, you know, your theme for the reading, Ten of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but there's something about a connection, about that that happily ever after feeling, okay? Um, that there's something that you, Six of Pentacles is behind that, which is about balance. Something that maybe was balanced is now out of balance, at least, at least emotionally speaking. Um, it could be you and somebody else, you and a friend, you and a loved one, whatever that means. And it's like, mm, maybe I need to depend on myself right now and not this other person. All right, Spirit, what is the um, main situation for Virgo at this time? What is their situation? The hangman. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. There's a change of perspective. You're needing to maybe um, put yourself in someone else's shoes or look at things from a different um, from a different lens, if you will. Okay, there's a different way to look at the situation. This is the vibe I'm feeling. Also, you know, the hangman really is an energy of being stuck. You might just feel completely stuck or I'm hearing lost at this time. Okay, let's look to see what's challenging this energy. The Knight of Cups, it could be about your romantic life, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is about romance and proposals, taking things to the next level. Maybe you want to take things to the next level with someone, but you don't know how. Maybe you feel stuck. I don't know if I should speak up. I don't know if I should say that. Or maybe that's how they feel towards you. Energies can be vice versa, okay? What's the main focus here for Virgo? What is the focus for Virgo? What is their focus at this time in this situation? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, get out of that conflict kind of energy, okay? Um, whatever that takes for you. And Nine of Swords, maybe some of y'all aren't sleeping very well right now. This is anxiety, stress, um, tossing and turning at night, like, you know, yeah. And, you know, the focus for you right now is, oh, man, I just don't want to argue anymore. I just don't want to have that confrontation anymore. With whoever this is, your partner, your friend, a family member, a work situation. Okay, keep in mind these are general and they're going to be different for each and every one of you. Let's look at your crowning energy. What is Spirit's advice for your crowning energy here for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. What's the crowning energy? Judgment in reverse, this is not your call. There's something going on that's not your call, not your call, not your call. Let's get one more with that. And the high priestess in reverse. Ooh, that's some twin flame energy right there. Or very just strong soulmate energy. Yeah, your... This 
there was a bad there was a um, a bad judgment call on someone on someone's part. Either you or someone else thought you knew what you were doing, but you really weren't. Um, you thought something was coming together, but now you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. What happened in Virgo's recent past? I'm just hearing bad judgment call. Like it was a bad judgment of character kind of situation. Recent past for Virgo. Recent past for Virgo. Nine of Cups in reverse. What you were hoping and wishing and wanting for so badly is not coming in. Six of Swords in reverse. It's that Five of Swords energy of just conflict. All around. All around. And Nine of Cups energy in the reverse is also very much an Eight of Cups energy of emotionally not being fulfilled. So maybe this person isn't enough for you. Or maybe the situation, this job, this family member, this, you know, not family member, but maybe, you know, if they're trying to... Um, maybe some, it's just someone's not showing up for you the way that they should be. Okay. And you're not, you're not feeling very happy also with the nine of cups. Maybe you're not happy with yourself because nine of cups is, is, is where we know how to make ourselves very happy. We know how to fill our cup. We know how to put a smile on our, on our face and it's not someone else's responsibility. Okay. So there's a little bit of healing needed for you at this time. All right, let's look at future energies for Virgo. Future energies for Virgo. Page of Wands in reverse. And the Chariot. Yeah, there's movement forward from the situation. Um, clarify the Page of Wands in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is about a soulmate. It could be about a child with the Page and the Six of Cups. This could be about children for some of you. Um, and the Ace of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands. Yeah, there could be some a, a splitting or some type of um, disharmony with you and a soulmate here. If this is a soulmate for you. Um, I see a splitting. I see a um, no one wants to put in that effort. No one wants to put in that romantic, you know. No one wants to be romantic here. All right. Let's look at how uh, Virgo is showing up in the situation. What's Virgo's power here? Way too many cards. Spirit, what's Virgo's power in the situation? How are they showing up? Where is Virgo here? We have the Ten of Cups. All these cards, by the way, fell completely like this, like perfectly on their side, not in reverse and not in the upright. Now I've got the Star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Four of Pentacles. This is about the home. And we got that Ten of Cups, that happily ever after, the sunshine and rainbows, the treasure at the end of the fairy tale, at the end of the fairy tale, at the end of the rainbow. Um, it's on its side. And I feel like you're honestly, you're not making any moves right now. You're not making any moves. You're just, you're very stuck. Now I understand the hangman for y'all. Y'all are very stuck in this situation right now. Okay. You're like trying to figure out, is this meant to be or not? Is this meant to be or not? You know, is this my thing or not with the 10 of cups? Is this going to make me happy or not? I don't know. You know, you're very on the fence or very stuck in some way. All right, let's look at the environment. What's going on in Virgo's environment? Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, definitely releasing a burden. There's been something burdensome in your life and oh, it feels good to release it, <laughs> right? Um, very good, very, very good. All right, let's look at hopes and fears here. Hopes and fears in the situation for Virgo. a lot of cards but I feel like I have to take them yeah all right this is a lot for hopes and fears but we're gonna take them because this is like a lot going on here um so hopes and fears Virgo queen of wands taking back control take making a stance three of swords pain heartbreak betrayal 
Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's some there's some negative karma playing out. Knight of Pentacles, there's you. Slow and steady to the Justice card could be dealing with a Libra. It's like everything you want. How do I say this? You recognize that either you've hurt someone or they've hurt you. It can go either way. Um, and you want to like speak up for the situation and say, hey, like this is where I've been hurt and this is what we need to do. And I want to make moves forward, but I also want to do what's right. And what's right is possibly the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is you not getting this person, you not getting this job, you not getting the resolution that you think that you, you know, want at this time. Okay. And with the full card and the Ace of Cups, you know, a new beginning in love, taking a leap of faith. But I think you want to stick it out with this person, the situation or whatever. But is it right? Is it right? You know, how many times is someone going to hurt you and you're going to keep giving them chances or vice versa? All right. Let's look at the outcome before we look at the love reading, okay? What's the outcome? Five of Cups in reverse. So there is some releasing of energy here. I just saw 11 11. So some of y'all could definitely be, um, you know, dealing with like a, a twin flame or just a very intense soulmate union here. Let's get one more with the Five of Cups in reverse because that's good. It's kind of like releasing that um, emotional burden. Outcome energy. Thank you, Spirit. Hermit, there you are. All right, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think you're gonna stay a little bit confused emotionally about the situation. Um, for some of you, you're waiting on someone else to make a move. Um, and that's what I have for you. I love y'all, Virgo. Thank you again for your continued support. And I'm sending out lots of love. If you wanna join us for the love reading, we're gonna do that right now. So um, just click the link below. Otherwise, I will see y'all soon. And I love you. Goodbye.